Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Entex EMU program. So I'm gonna launch it here. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit more about what EMU is and go through a brief tutorial. First of all, I love that they started off with you and your show are incredible. Um, so let's talk about EMU. So if you haven't checked out my other video, um, here in this video, I talk about what's going on with Entex DMXs, which is a program that I've recommended for a long time. It's an awesome program, but it's come to an end. Um, not to say that DMXs is just gonna die and stop working. If you do use it currently, uh, that's not the case. However, if uh, you're looking to buy new and to, and to get into using DMXs, you're gonna find it's not available anywhere. However, there is Entex new EMU program, and I just want to walk through super quickly um, what that is and what it means. So EMU, if I go to Entex website, actually, I'll pull it up here, um, is a new program, and it's currently in beta, and it's pretty stable. Okay, I've been using it for a while. It's got most of the features that DMX has had before uh, ready to roll. So... Um, it basically does a lot of the things that DMXs did, um, and you can download it from entech.com, you download from EMU, you can download it for free. Okay, as I mentioned in the other video, you then need an output device, okay? So you need a DMX to USB interface or an ARTnet interface. If you have a DMX's box, you can use that for now. However, here's what's going to change in the future. At some point, probably we're hoping early next year, uh, early 2022, we're going to hear from Entech that the EMU boxes are ready and they're going to release pricing. At that point, okay, at that point, if you're not using the official EMU box, your software cost is now going to be a subscription. So it's free right now to use it, okay? It says EMU is free for a limited time only. Grab your license now. But when they announce the EMU box, again, hopefully early 2022, there's going to be a monthly cost to this software, unless you have the EMU box, then you just pay for the EMU box, just like the DMX's box, it will unlock your output, etc. Okay, so that's the big difference here. Now, just quickly, what I'm doing to help, guys, is through LearnStage Lighting Gear, you can go to learnstagelightinggear.com, we'll link to it below. You can go ahead, you can get our basic band lighting package, or you can get, oh, I'm just going to type it in, DMX, USB, I should have just, I should just type NTEC. See, I don't even know how to use my own site. We've got our upgrade program, okay? So what this looks like is you add the DMX USB Pro to your quote, we'll send you out uh, uh, an order form once, once you quote it, just once we make sure it's in stock, okay? Um, and then, um, you can use that with EMU today. Okay. You're paying the regular price, same price you're going to get anywhere else. And we even ship it for free. Okay. Uh, when the EMU box comes out, if you want to trade back in your DMX USB pro to me, and that's, again, this is us only. I can't do this internationally. There's no way the costs would work out. Um, if you want to switch, send that back to me, I'll give you back 162 bucks in credit towards the purchase of that emu box and of course if you're looking through anything else like i mentioned we've got our basic band lighting package here where you get a couple trees a couple cables and emu and uh, we get you a personalized price on that if you want to buy anything else we've got you know if you need any other lights uh why not buy it from learn stage lighting if you've heard of us if you've been around you trust us um we'll be able to get you a personalized quote so all that to say uh, if you're looking to buy EMU, you're looking to get started and you don't have a box, um, we'd be happy to get that to you either through our basic band lighting package or just through our Entech DMX USB Pro uh, upgrade program where we'll send you that. We'll let you know when the real EMU box is available. We'll let you know what that upgrade cost is going to be and then uh, be able when we receive back your USB Pro and make sure you didn't like smash it. Um, then, then we'll, we'll refund your $162. Okay. So email, 
Enough jabbering, David. So Emu is a lot like DMXS, and so I wanna give you guys a quick tour in this video, and then in the next video, we're gonna start with patching. Maybe we'll get to it in this video. So I've got a number of lights already patched here into Emu, okay, and as a test file. And so there's a couple differences. One of the first is that we can have individual lights, we can have groups of lights, we can work with them. Um, there's not the channel masking, um, but pretty much everything else is the same as you can do in DMX. So actually, let's go patch. So first thing we're gonna do is go to shows. I'm just gonna create a new show. And then just like DMX's, you click on the show, it loads it, you press okay. Now let's go and patch. So we'll go to the fixture manager, okay? And they've got a lot of fixtures already in here. If the fixture you don't, you have is not in here, then you can go ahead and request that fixture to be created, okay? Um, and the team will create that fixture. They uh, tell us that they're putting them out every Monday now, so they get they get them done pretty quick. Um, there's a lot in here already, though, and you can search for your manufacturers. So, for example, I'm going to use Gamma LED Vision. And I'm just going to start, I'm going to patch some Borealis RC, 14 channel, okay? Um, I can star this if it's a fixture I'm going to use in a lot of shows and then it shows up here, okay? It shows me the channel order, so I can just verify that if I'm unsure, or if you have a fixture that's you know not a name brand and you're not seeing it in the list, you could totally you know poke through some different fixtures and find something that matches that'll work for you, okay? Um, so what we're then gonna do is just drag it over. So we can drag them over one at a time. It shows up on our DMX channels for our DMX universe that we have here in Emu. Um, and then we're able to go, what I like to do is then click on the fixture and I think I need 10 of these. So I just hit duplicate. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, they say I've seen in comments that they're going to rework this at some point, but for now it's usable and it does work well. Okay. Um, so you can see all the channels, you can see where they line up to the numbers. So if you have any question of any of that, you'll be good to go. Okay. Uh, you can also go in here and delete all your fixtures. You know, use that with care, obviously. It's going to ask you to confirm because you want to be serious, right? You, you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to delete all your stuff and, and have a problem. Um, and then all you got to do is you can press close or you can actually press patch again. You're brought back to the main screen and now you're ready to move. So let's wrap this video here, and in the next video, we're going to start building out some groups and programming our lights. We'll see you there. Thanks.